Hi kids, it's time for Sunday School. Pastor Mike here. And today we are looking at the last book of the Bible. What is it? You got it? It's the book of Revelation. We're going to look at this verse, this book, for the next two weeks. So, uh, John wrote the book of Revelation. He had been exiled to the island of Patmos because he had been telling people about Jesus. While John was on Patmos, he had a vision. Jesus told him to write seven special messages to seven churches. Jesus wanted the churches to listen and obey his commands so that they could overcome the troubles they were facing. The seven churches were... Oh, just a second. There's somebody at my door. Oh, is that for me? Thank you. I have a letter. Okay, now let's work. Where was I? Let's sit back down. So the seven churches were... Ephesus, um, Smyrna, oh, somebody's at my door. You know, every time somebody's at the door and knocks, the dogs go crazy. Oh, is that another letter? Yep. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. I never get mail. I got two letters in one day. Okay. Here, I'm going to sit back down. Okay. The seven churches were Ephesus, Smyrna, oh, again? Oh, man. It's a busy night here. Oh, another letter? Thank you. Where was I? Keep getting distracted. Hey, the seven churches were Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum. How do you say this one? Um, you right back. Oh, Hi. another letter. Yep. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. The seven churches were Ephesus, Smyrna. Just a second. Oh, another letter. Thank you so much. Man, I'm a popular guy tonight. Okay. Here I am. Let's try this again. Okay. The seven churches were Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis. <sighs> okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, another letter. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening. Okay, will I ever get through this? The seven... Was that another knock on the door? Oh, I think it was. Okay. Another letter? Man, how popular. Hi. I hope that's all. Okay. The seven churches were Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, 
and Laodicea. Jesus had a unique message for each church. So, oh, look at this says Ephesus. That was the first one. And their letter, you know what their letter from Jesus was? Jesus told them they need to return to their first love, God. That's what Jesus wanted them to do. Well, Smyrna. The letter to Smyrna said they that this church had suffered many different things. And John encouraged this church to endure, to keep on. Well, do I have enough? Oh, Pergamum. Is that right? Pergamum. You know what they did? They listened to false teachers. They were listening to people that were not speaking the truth. And they were supposed to stop listening to them. Oh, oh, Thyatira. This church, you know, they were growing and they were doing many things well. John warned the church not to stray away from God. Wow, all these letters are based on here. How about Sardis? The letter to Sardis said they needed to repent and pay attention to God. Oh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, you know what? They were praised for obeying God. And God promised they would be protected. Ah, and the last one, Laodicea. Their letter said they were not hot, and they were not cold. They were lukewarm. And the letter said, I'd rather you be hot or luke or cold instead of lukewarm, because if you're lukewarm, I'd spit you out of my mouth. Have you ever had lukewarm water? It's like, ugh. The church needed to um, be committed to God again. So those seven letters were written. Isn't that amazing? I got seven letters tonight. Those letters were written to the churches. God loves churches, and God loves our church. And God says, he says in uh, Revelation 3.20, which is at the end of all these letters, this is to that last church, uh, Jesus said, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. Just like my guest tonight, who brought me these letters, they knocked on my door. Here I am, Jesus said. I stand at the door of your church, and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. You know, God is knocking at our church's door as well as all of our churches around us. And he's saying, you know, I want you to repent. I want you to turn to me. I want you to trust me. I want you to love me with all your heart. That's what he's saying. And he says if we just open that door when Jesus knocks, if our church opens that door, he's going to come in and we're going to have fellowship with him. We're going to eat with him. That means we're going to enjoy his presence. So, I'm going to open the door. Are you going to join me and open that door? I sure hope so. Because I want a fellowship with Jesus. He is our amazing God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. Thank you that you knock on the door of our church. That you even knock on the door of our heart. Each one of us needs to open that door. Help us to come to you and trust you and to love you with all of our being. Help us to put you first above everything. We thank you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, thanks for joining me. Look to Jesus. I love you.